I'm an American uh, Airlines guy now. It's on brand, number one, and number two, they serve you drinks before the plane flies, before it takes off. So that's nice when I get my Bloody Marys. Really but wanna, anyway. You really want to liquefy everybody's feelings of not wanting to attack them. <laughs> I think that's really important. You mentioned how Southwest sucks, but in this case, it's more of a jerk-off situation. Mm. A dude is facing federal charges, because let's not forget, when you do something on a plane, it's that's, cross that's states, government. That's, yeah, that's, that's over state lines. That's too. government scenarios, so it's much more serious. This dude exposed himself several times in front of a female passenger. This flight was from Seattle to Phoenix, and he also managed to jerk off four times, Okay, which wait a is second. just um, His name is For Anthony Sherrod McGarrity. I'm glad we got his name. I wonder. Antonio, in my mind, I'm sorry. I, I uh, this is my thing, right? First of all, I get horny on a plane sometimes. You've I, seen me. I no, I haven't. Sometimes when don't I'm, wink at me like that. No, I one get, time. No, the only time that I have ever heard anything from your under belows was when we flew to Australia, seventeen hour. And flight. then I sat on the buckle. You the sat time. in your buckle, and then I said, "How was your flight?" You said, "My asshole me is killing me." Me. me." But I didn't know that you actually got aroused on planes. Well, because honestly, mostly it's when I'm drowsy. When I'm drowsy sometimes, my boner pops up, Instinctively, right? your body is like, don't forget to do one more thing before you go to bed. <laughs> yeah, Bob, do you remember? But um, <laughs> how long is that flight? Seattle to Phoenix is probably, what, three hours? You nailed it, my friend. You are indeed a frequent flyer. I, it's a three-hour flight. He pulled down his pants and masturbated in front of this poor female passenger. Oh, so now at oh, least okay. Four this is what, times. obviously this is rough. And on, on, and we've talked about this before. We've this this style of story has come up before where I want to applaud that woman for taking it. Taking the trauma on and Ugh. fucking getting it because I she kept like a plane in the sky because all she had to do truly was scream. It was like the other story where the guy grabbed the dude's leg and it was like, you want to come over here and play the play in the brambles? Sure. And like he was doing that thing where like the guy again took one for the team, didn't scream because if you do, the plane's got to take an emergency landing and nobody gets the Phoenix. I would say that in this situation, maybe an emergency landing would be well, warranted. Well, if you're doing it four course. times, which also, that to me, that smells, there's there's drug use here. <laughs> there's a little <laughs> well, bit of drug I, use here. Maybe. Because did we you just, call, how are you not, I need drug? a cool off, period. All right. I well, have to have a, there is a, there is at least, at least. Maybe maybe it's my age. Maybe but it's it at least is. an hour long cool off period between jerking off, depending on if I have to get it all in there before I go to prison. Like if I have to go to prison for ten years, I'm going to try to right. get it all out in a, the comfort of my own home and before I turn myself in. McGarrity uh, looks like he probably will be going to prison. I don't believe that he jerked off to completion four times. I think it was a jerk off motion that was made with his penis in hand, and then uh, I would assume at some point someone says, "Sit down." Uh, he should have been. Rarely do I bl believe. Um, in total brutality, but I do think a bungee cord Clocked situation. Yeah, 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 he should have been the tied duct to the tape. Seat. I do miss yeah. when TSA or not TSA, rather when uh, airline flight, flight attendants, attendants were yeah. just duct taping everybody. Yes. I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah, sure. I do think the freakouts have been limited. I think people are coming back to being no, humans again, yeah, a little bit more normal. Yeah, but certainly was not he in literally this case. Standing up and doing it, or what? I so seems like this, this is he what, was there on in the seat next to her and trying to just show her. It was seat eleven F. That that's that was the seat that McGarity was in, and the female witness was seated in 11E. Now the complaint states shortly God, after takeoff, you have to be in a middle seat too. Oh God, that's devastating. Shortly after takeoff, while the aircraft was in the air, McGarity exposed his penis by pulling down his pants. That's how you do it. And shorts, and began masturbating. At some point during the flight, so McGarrity I just don't understand. How do you do this when you're sitting in a chair openly? On the plane, I'm not obviously. My you just do it fast. My grandmother used to drop her pants while sitting all the time. It but was she's quite old, weird. and we all have to act like. But she was doing that it. when she was young. That was one of those things where sometimes you reach an age where you're normal for what. Sometimes you reach an age that finally your activity catches up. Oh, and that's like, what we're getting normal. For. She's old. She drops her pants, but she used to do it when she was 32. Well, I used to remember we. I think I probably made this joke about your grandmother before. You remember the the thing, and when you used to get from Spencer's and you squeeze the bulb and make the fat man's pants fall down. Yeah, it's kind of like that for an old woman. <laughs> yeah, but this is sounds like uh, this should have been noticed by somebody. I feel like if you were fully well. That's so what happened. I was, mean, I, I wouldn't look. I'd I, also do the I know I'm we're from New York. I understand how I would you can just, it. I would just let my the reality just close over you my un, eyeballs. You unsheath your cock in front of me? That's oh, fair flick, game. Oh, yeah, I'll punch it. I'm gonna punch oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, at some point during the flight, McGarity, he must have been exhausted. So he fell asleep. 
And then that's when the female, female witness got up and advised the crew about the incident. Oh, God. And then, of this course, the crew, woman. Um, she took some pictures of McGarity, and then they moved her to another seat. That's nice. And then when it landed in Phoenix, of course, you know, the Phoenix PD, they're like another one. Oh, great. Why is it whenever you come into Phoenix, they Brian. try to jerk off? Come on. Uh, he was questioned by officers, and then he was detained by the FBI. He admitted to his actions, telling law enforcement- yeah, I did it. That he knew there was a woman that could see him, but claimed she put her hands in the air and told him, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then that, he said, that, this is what he says. That He's, did not happen. She says, she says, uh, she told him it doesn't really matter if he masturbates, which he thought was, quote, kind of kinky. So none of that's true. None of that is true. I want to talk about this l really quick. Uh, someone sent me this in last minute. That's very interesting. Hmm. About someone has been putting these cryptic uh, messages okay. about secret societies inside of food items. This person, this is really? now like this is reported on Reddit. Someone got these weird little th things in a Chobani. Oh, someone got it in a packed meat thing, like something else. Like it's and Wait, it seems to be so they're sealed in there. Yes, someone who is packaging this is these things. Job. Yes, someone who is packaging these things is putting them up inside of various oh like my. food things, okay. food packaging. So this is what it reads. I don't even know if I can get through all of this. Secret societies, SS, ties to terror, M, mass shootings, go unreported, JFK, Lincoln, Wilson, warned of secret societies. A secret sign symbol unites SS. Their symbols tied to Saturn, Lord of the Rings, time, Toyota, Audi rings, China, so Islam, who does the crescent? It's a crescent. Mm. With ball, star, clock, prayer wheel, cross with RG fire, NATO, KKK, <laughs> they're the same. <laughs> CIA, Yale, mm. NFTs. That's in well, there. That's new. It Face seems target, a little. SS it, agents through throughout. No, you're. You, I'm you, not an editor. I'm just gonna say it seems a little manic. Hmm. Just a little. It needs another draft. What is this form of like? It it's um it's broad. It's vague. It's kind of reads like a Disney cue. Tower Pillar Tree. If you just kind of look through, you know those things where they show us show up like the a, a, like a square of letters and they're like the, the first three words you that see pop out. Yeah. That'd be your year. It does seem as you look at this, you just see. Pedophilia, they shorten it. Saturn's occult rights, Nazis, concerts. Okay. Nazis and concerts are oh, evil. So like Nazi and like a Fleetwood Mac concert. Any concert. Any concert. Um, okay. That can be used. Then you have stuff like Dole. Bob Dole is in there. Bob Dole, He's baby. still in there. Skull and bones. Confederate flag. Confederate flag is the symbol of the real resistance is what they say right here, which oh. is, it, they lost a long time ago. Yeah. Then um, the Dragon Kings, which is the origin of re royalty. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, it's just one of those. Did David Icke lose all of his money? Is he working for Jubani now? He's out there. He's in no, David Icke's still on the uh, touring circuit. I would go watch him live. Oh, we've, we've, I thought about it, but his shows are six hours. Yeah, long. I think he does full seminar weekends. Yes, he does. And you can go and you can hang out with him and you can go and, and, and see what his breath is like. Oh, certain, it's not very Oh, good. it's nicotine. He's got a guana brush. Yeah. Yeah. Guana brush. Absolutely. If there's any um, lizard person, it's actually him, of course. It's always a deflection. But if but anybody one sees is, one of these little squares, I'd love for you to send pictures please. of it and send it to us. And you know, I'm kind of for it. Oh, sure. It's a little bit trippy knowing that the person that packs up your yo play is Deeply, maybe bad shit. Yeah. But at the same Deeply time, crazy. What do we expect? I don't know. They work in a factory. They're around liquid, liquid, uh, um, it's a, what do you call it? Bacteria all day. Also, when it comes down to it, they, you know, what's nice about those types of jobs is that your mind can go free because it's manual. I think, no, I think that's not true. I think if think. your mind goes free, that's how you lose your arm. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, bro. I guess that's true. I guess now that's why I guess we're all going to be robots, huh? No, well, factory work is really difficult. It really is. And I think about it all the time. I think about how like that would be a nice way to like, I'm very proud. We reach out to the union men, fellow union men over doing the Amazon uh, oh, factory yeah. in Staten Island. Yeah. They fucking flipped it. So we got to start happen. treating our employees with the more dignity and more respect. Absolutely. Oh, bust if their not, butts. And support some of their ideas. Why not? What does that one say? It's just, it's that, but with the, it's the same thing, but it just says lies in bigger letters. <laughs> and that's what's important. I think we need to support our schizophrenic factory workers and Absolutely. just listen to them because what's nice they get it done don't they when you meet a crazy person on the street sometimes you learn a little bit about what their perspective is and you can kind of get in their world and it's always important to yes and a crazy person until yeah. you can get safely away